The pyramids, how were they really built? The Great Pyramids of Giza have stood for over 4,500 years, monuments to human ambition and engineering. The Great Pyramid of Khufu alone contains more than 2 million stone blocks, some weighing over 80 tons. Without cranes, steel, or even the wheel, how did ancient Egyptians move and stack them with such precision? Historians have debated for centuries. One leading idea is that massive ramps were built, earthworks stretching hundreds of meters, so workers could drag blocks upward with ropes and sledges. Others suggest wooden rollers, or sleds pulled across wet sand to reduce friction. In 2013, a discovery gave us more answers. A papyrus known as the Diary of Merer, written by a pyramid builder. It described how limestone blocks were shipped on boats along man-made canals, then dragged to Giza. This wasn't just construction, it was an entire logistical system, a supply chain on a scale the world had never seen. But the pyramids hold deeper mysteries. They are aligned almost perfectly with the cardinal directions within a fraction of a degree. And here's the mind-blowing detail. The latitude of the Great Pyramid is 29. 9792458 DGN, nearly identical to the speed of light, 299,792,458 meters per second. Most scientists call it coincidence, but for many, it raises a haunting question. Could the builders have known more than we think? Some claim aliens or lost technology, but the truth may be even more impressive. With tens of thousands of workers, brilliant engineering, and generations of knowledge, the Egyptians achieved something no machine of their time could match. The pyramids are not just tombs. They are proof that human creativity and determination can achieve the impossible. And as they continue to stand after 4,500 years, they remind us that some mysteries aren't signs of otherworldly power, but of the brilliance of humanity itself.